I'm joined by Larry Kudlow, director of the National Economic Council. Uh, Larry, it's good to see you again. Welcome. Hey, Kelly. How are you? I'm better than most, I, I guess I would say. And um, maybe that's the, the right place to start. You know, the, the 40 million number is terrible. We've been talking all hour about, you know, different proposals, like the one you just heard from Senator uh, Portman about, you know, maybe cash bonuses for people to get back to work. And w what are your thoughts at this point about kind of the line between helping and, and hurting the recovery? Well, I think uh, you, if you're referring to the cash bonuses and Senator Portman's idea, uh, it's something we're looking at very closely. And, um, you know, we may go with something like that. I don't want to button it down right now. I don't want to get ahead of the policy curve. But we are looking at it because the plus up to 600 above the state levels, uh, everyone, of, of all sides of the spectrum, have acknowledged that that is a disincentive to go back to work. So we want to promote work. We don't want to obstruct work. And, you know, we're seeing the economy gradually in phases reopen in May and June. These are the transition months. We're actually seeing some glimmers of hope amidst all the hardship and uh, heartbreak. We're seeing some glimmers of hope on the economy. The states are opening up. The businesses are opening up. We're going to get a lot more of it in June. And we just want to make sure that we do what we can to have healthy businesses and to have a healthy workforce and get people back to work. You know, Kelly, one, one side point here on this, as you know, with these unemployment claims and with the jobs numbers monthly, a lot of it, maybe as much as 75 percent of it, uh, looked like uh, temporary layoffs. Now, you can't be sure, but that's the way it was reported yeah. in the BLS surveys. If that is true, or if that is nearly true, then we may see folks coming back to work faster than we might have thought, let's say, a month or six weeks ago. The only thing I wonder, I asked this to the senator as well, is what happens, Larry? There's people who are able to use the relief money now, maybe stay in business. But if it comes October, if it comes early next year and it's a restaurant that's no longer viable, has to lay people off. I mean, do we then just kind of use the regular jobless benefit system for that? Or do you think there still needs to be you know, a little bit of extra uh, whatever you'd call it, because it, the, after all, these closings are still related to the pandemic. Well, that's all true. And I suppose I would best answer that by saying we'll take a look at it. But it, it's, a, it's a look, we've never had anything like this, obviously, 100 years, very hard to do any economic modeling around this. We're doing what we can as our other economists outside the government. Um, I kind of want to see what happens in the next four weeks, because as we come into July, I mean, we may be very happily surprised at the economic improvement as the virus flattens and actually is adjusting down. We're seeing some early returns, and I acknowledge they're just early returns, but some of the states that are opening are showing, A, lots of businesses opening, B, folks are returning to work, and C, just as importantly, the virus continues to flatten and adjust downward in those data. Because you can't do this, it's not one or the other. We want to open up and we want the economy to recover, but it's got to be done safely. Yeah. It's got to be done safely. I can't emphasize that enough. But with all that, Kelly, uh, I remain optimistic. Our own view is you're going to have a very, very, very strong bounce back in the second half of the year.